Your purpose in life is whatever you say it is. But if you don't say it is something, <clears throat> then someone else will tell you that the purpose of life is something. So, like, it goes back to that Terrence McKenna thing. If you don't have a plan, you become part of somebody else's plan. If you don't figure out your purpose to your life, then somebody else will. And because there is no actual purpose, right? Like, it's not like you're going to find the the main purpose of your life and that's the thing. No, it's only the thing because you say it's the thing. Like... <clears throat> You know how they say thoughts create reality, but I think that's so deep that it's beyond our understanding. Because Terrence McKenna said that the world is made of language. And I feel that. Because it's like, what language are you telling yourself? Like, what are you saying your purpose is? What are you saying? Because what you're saying is what you're then living. So, like, I'm living in my purpose because... I came up with an idea, and I'm like, oh, I want to be a modern-day shaman. Ten years ago. Oh, I this and that. Like, when I was 17. Oh, I'm, I'm a parent. When I'm, like, I'm creating these things that are my purposes in life, and they're all based off of just ideas that I've had. And if I didn't come up with those ideas, I'd still be living life, and I'd still be doing things but they would just be things that I did not plan on doing. So it's like, you know, Terrence McKenna, like, if you don't have a plan, you become part of somebody else's plan. If you don't have a purpose, you'll start living someone else's purpose for you. Like, someone else will come up with a purpose for you because they'll put you wherever you're useful at, right? Like, if you're... If you don't... If you're not working on something then people will see that, and then they'll put you to work on something. So, a lot of people work jobs because they're not thinking about another way. Now, there's a difference between working a job, doing what you have to do, but also working on your other thing because you have another thing that you want to do. And there's a difference between someone that's working a job, and that's the only thing they do. And it's, there's no like... One is better than the other. It's that I don't think people realize that they have options. They get stuck in an idea. They get stuck in society's idea of what it means to be a father or what it means to be a... What the fuck is that old word? Uh, a productive member of society. You know, like... People have ideas, and we follow those ideas because we're not coming up with our own ideas. Like, that's the thing. We're not coming up with our own ideas, so then we follow someone else's idea. And if and this is why I said it's not good or bad, it's just it's your life. So like, is it good or bad for you? Like what is it for you? Because if you're stuck, that's only because you think there's no way out. But there's no way out because you're not thinking of a way out. Right? Like if you're locked inside of a house and there's two windows, but you can't get out the door, well, whose fault is it that you're not breaking the window? It's because you're not thinking outside of the box. You're thinking inside of the box that, oh, well, the way humans go through, you know, into houses, we go through doors. That's how we go in a house. That's how we go out of a house. So... Instead of thinking outside the box and saying, fuck this shit and breaking the window, you then stay stuck in a place that you don't want to be. Because you're not thinking of a way to break the fucking window. Like, maybe because society says, you shouldn't break the window, you know? You shouldn't do this. You have to do this. You have to do that. But no, you have to do things because you're not telling yourself what you have to do. Right? Like... You have to do other things because you haven't made it a priority. Like, this is what I mean by once you find your purpose in life, that becomes your main priority, bro. Like, that becomes life. It, it's like we're all on earth, but we're all in a different world. 
because we all believe life is something different. If you don't come up with an idea of what life is, other people will. This is the thing, though. Your idea is not right, and their idea is not wrong. Your idea is not wrong, and their idea is not right. Right? Like, just because society says this is what life is, that doesn't mean that's true. That's just an idea. Like, just like the shit I'm, I'm living, it's just an idea, right? I'm like, oh, I want to be a modern-day shaman. And everyone's like, oh, you can't do that. But that's because of the ideas they have in their head. And they don't understand that the world is made of language. So because they think they can't, they think I can't. Or you look at someone and they're like, I want to be a professional basketball player. But, like, all the people in high school just laughed at that person. Like, you can't do that. You can't do that. Because they can't. But there are people that do. Right? And they do it because they truly believe that they can do it. Like, I think that's the thing that goes over everyone's head. You know how, like, we... Oh, since a kid, bro, you've probably heard it, too. That you can do anything you put your mind to. Right? That's real. The problem is they don't know what that means. What does it mean to put your mind to something? What does it mean? It means that that something is in your mind, right? And that's probably the only thing that's in your mind. Because you put your mind to something. So if you put your mind to truly saying, I want to be a business owner, then in your mind, you should be thinking about how to make that real, or you should just be on the journey to make that real. But like... Because for 10 years, like, you could literally go back in the videos. For 10 years, I've been saying I'm on the journey to become a modern-day shaman. But that's because that's real to me. Like, I can't tell you guys, you know, for 10 years, I've been trying to do this business shit, and I've been just trying to get my money right. No, the actual truth of my actual past 10 years has been that thing. I've just been on this journey to become a modern-day shaman. And I built an idea of what that meant and then I walked that path because the world is made of language so then I figured out the language or the ideas in my head and then I just walked towards those ideas because some of those ideas were not real when I came up with those ideas but if you walk the journey long enough and you're focused on that one thing then you can make it real <clears throat> the problem is people don't have self-discipline like it's they're not taking it seriously this is what i mean this is why there is no purpose to life other than what you say so it's not true it's not false it's not that you can find the actual purpose to the universe now there probably is a purpose to the universe or a meaning to life but that meaning or purpose is beyond human like Deeper than beyond human comprehension, it's actually literally beyond human. So, like, that's why the purpose needs to be one that you assign to yourself, right? Like, just like you go to a job and they assign positions to you, well, that's someone else assigning a position to you. Well, you know, you can wake up and look in the mirror and then decide, this is where I'm going. That's who I want to be. That's what I want to do. And this is what my purpose is from now on. Because do you think I've always been on this journey to become a modern day shaman? No, 12 years ago, I was just some gangster thug dude. And my purpose was just to be some thug dude, robbing people, doing this, going to make that money by however means and doing this shit. I want to be a rapper. And that was my purpose. That was it. And that's fine. Because once again, it was a purpose that I chose like, I assign that purpose to myself, but, like, I came up with a better purpose, one that helps me grow in a better way, and it's, like, people don't get it, that it's you. You are the problem in your life. It's not life. 
people blame society. They blame social media. They blame, oh, I have to work. You know, I got these kids I got to provide for. I got this. I got that. It's all on you, bro. Like, like literally, it's in your head. Because what purpose are you following? Like, what ideas are you following? Because somebody came up with an idea of what a father is. But that's not what a father is. That's just their idea. Like, what does it mean to be a father to you? Like, there's no purpose to life. No, no. What is your purpose to your life? Right? Like, and the problem is, these are complex, really deep, really hard questions to think about. <coughs> but if you don't think about it, then someone else is thinking about it for you, right? Like somebody already created a business that needs workers for that business. And that's fine if that's what you want to do. But like, then don't complain about how life turned out. That's the thing. Don't complain about how life is fucked up and this and that. And don't complain if you ain't thinking of a different way. Because there is a way out. All you gotta do is break the window, right? Like... But instead, you're locked behind a locked door. That you're the one that shut the door. You're the one that walked in. And you're the one that threw away the key. Like, it's not society's fault. It's not the government. Whatever, like... I think society and the government is actually a great thing. It's great that there is something for humans that have not thought of something. Right? Like... But don't forget that you can think of something else and then you can do that something else. You don't have to do what other people are doing. You don't have to be the type of father that other people are. You can become the type of father that you think you, sh you need to be. Like, because bro, it's your life. Like, so therefore it should be you picking the purpose. And now you can balance it all, right? You can... Work a normal job, live that life, but then come home and work on your purpose, your other purpose in life, you know, work on these other things. But I've noticed that the people that don't create their own purpose are usually miserable, right? Because that's why they'll try to numb themselves with drugs, right? They'll be working a job they hate, numbing themselves with drugs all day, then, you know, or night, whatever time they work. And then they'll get up, go to work, do the same thing over again. They get caught in a cycle of trying to relieve the pain of living someone else's purpose. But, like, it's hard to say because this is just life. And it's like, if you don't think of something, someone else is thinking of something for you. And oh, there is always someone thinking. And if you're not, then you will be controlled by the people that are. You know, it's why Terrence McKenna said, if you don't have a plan, you become part of somebody else's plan because society already has a plan. If you're a girl, they already have a plan for you. If you're a black man, they already have a plan for you. They already have an idea of the type of man you should be. But is that the type of man you want to be? Because at any moment you can change your purpose, which will change the trajectory of your life. Like... <laughs> If you're like, no, I don't want to be this gangster thug doing it. Like, I don't want to be a thug anymore. Okay? Well, start walking towards the type of per Like, start walking the direction of the man that you do want to be. Because that's all on you, right? And it's like... I'm fucking dying here. But like... Yeah, it's just all on you, bro. Like, you just got to figure out... What you want to do with life. Because there is no main purpose. Well, there is. Society has ideas for you if you don't have ideas. But if you don't want those ideas, then come up with your own. And if you don't, then don't complain. Don't be like, oh, it's the government's fault. You know, society told me to do this. I was lied to and they said that this is what it means to be a father. I was lied to and it's like women are going to do this in the next 20 years when they're like i was feminism lied to me they said they told me i didn't need a man and i shouldn't have kids and yada 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 
But then don't blame feminism for your life. Blame yourself for not thinking of what the fuck you want to do and just doing it, no matter what people think. Because there are women that want kids that kind of feel some type of way because they got so caught up in this feminism bullshit and they were saying that they don't want kids for so long that now they don't want to admit that they want kids because they were like, oh, what are these people going to think about me? It's like, bro, that's your problem. You think I thought about other people when I came up with the purpose for my life? No. Other people's opinion of my life never crossed my mind. I just said, this is what I want to do, and that's the place I'm going. Even when it was like I was hanging out with these thug dudes because I was a thug, right? I'm, I'm a gangster dude. I'm just hanging out with other gangster dudes. We all gangster-like and what the other... I didn't give a fuck, bro. When I decided this is not who I want to be, they never crossed my mind. I never thought about what are they going to think about me. I thought about what am I going to think about me when I'm done? And I'm like, oh, if I could change, grow that way, then I'll be proud of myself. I don't give a fuck if other people are, right? Like, because it's your purpose that you create. And you'll be proud as fuck if you just walked your purpose that you created, right? But you could also be proud as fuck if you did society, right? Because maybe you did the society thing and you were able to raise kids and you were able to do this thing and you were able to travel and live and whatever. Maybe that's awesome for you and that was your purpose. That's great. That's why I said there's no right or wrong thing. It's all on you.